Hey guys, I'm Diving Squid, and this is the third episode in my online multiplayer tutorial. In the last episode, we looked at adding player movement and joining the server with multiple players. As you can see, the animations aren't a thing yet, and the player's movement doesn't sync up. Luckily, they're quite easy fixes, and that's what we'll look at today. So to start with, I'm going to open our player prefab from the resources folder, and I'm going to add a photon transform view script. I'm going to enable synchronized position, and then I'm going to set the interpolate option to lerp and give it a lerp speed of around 4. Drag this to our photon view script, and then open up our player script inside of Visual Studio. I'm going to start by typing punrpc and creating a private void called flip true. And then I'm going to put our sprite renderer flip thing inside of these because that will sync up across all players' devices. Then call our two functions that we just created inside our if statements and delete our previous sprite render flip hex equals true and false. Save this and head back into Unity where I'm going to work on my animations. In the last episode I already created them, I just need to add the transitions. So I'm going to add a new parameter called is running and I'm going to make transitions between my idle and run animations, unchecking has exit time and setting the transition duration to zero and using my is running parameter in the conditions. Then back in my player script, inside the check input function, I'm going to create a new if statement stating if input.getKeyDown keycode A or input.getKey keycodes D, then we want to set our is running bool equal to true. Otherwise, we're going to set our is running bool equal to false. Save this and that's our animations done. We just need to sync them up across the network. So in our player prefab, I'm going to add a photon animator view and I'm going to drag this inside our photon view observed components section. This is going to sync up our animations across the network. Now on our player, I'm going to create a new UI and text. This is going to be for our gamer tag. And then set your canvas render mode to world space and drag in your player camera. I'm going to drag my player prefab into my game scene so that I can adjust the canvas better. So I'm going to reset the canvas's position and then I'm going to move my text and scale it down a lot so that it fits above our player's head as a gamer tag. Once you've got a rough scale, apply the overrides and then delete the player that you've added to the scene and then open back up your player prefab. Now adjust how your gamertag text looks by adjusting the font, scale and colour of your text. Position it above where you want it to sit on the player's head and then set the horizontal and vertical overflow to overflow and disable raycast target. Set our canvas's order and layer to something like 10 so it displays in front of everything. And then set our text name to gamertag. And then drag our player name text into the player name text field on our player script. Open up the player script and inside our awake function, we're going to set player name text, dot text equal to photon network dot player name. To set other players' names, we're going to create an else and then set player name text, dot text equal to photon view dot owner dot name. And now to change the color of the other players' names, I'm going to type player name text dot color equals color and then pick whatever color I'd like. I'm going to build the project just so we can test it with two devices. And then I'm going to type in our username to connect to Photon, join a game, and then do the same on the other device. As you can see, we've got a nice white player name above our player. And then if I join on this one, the movement and animation synced up and they both have gamer tags. On our other device, you can see that the color has worked. Now I'm going to go on and add a ping text to the top of our screen. So to do this, I'm going to create a new UI text, which will create a new canvas. We're going to set this canvas's screen scaler to scale with screen size. And then on our new text, I'm going to anchor it to the top left corner of the screen and then adjust the font and size to how I'd like it. And then I'm going to rename some of the UI objects so that our hierarchy is more organized. I'm going to call our start canvas something like spawn canvas and then the canvas we just created, game canvas, and the text, ping text. I'm going to open up our game manager script, and inside this I'm going to create a public text, and I'm going to call it ping text. 
Now inside of a new private update function, I'm going to set ping text equal to ping plus photo network dot get ping. This is all you need to do to get the ping working in Unity. So head back into Unity and then I'm going to drag our ping text into the field on our game manager component and then I'm going to hit play to test it out. So enter a username to connect to Photon and then create a new test game and hit start. You'll see that our Photon network ping is displayed in the top left corner of the screen. That's all for this tutorial. I'll probably upload one more multiplayer tutorial after this detailing some extra things and that'll be it for our multiplayer series. Don't forget to subscribe guys and thank you for 100 subscribers. If you'd like to support me more, head to my Patreon, the link will be in the description below. Thanks for watching.